Okay, and in an attempt to make your life a little bit easier, we're going to do some things here. And you have to follow this exactly, okay, exactly. So what we're going to do is you're going to click on the open button, right? This You have to do this exactly. Don't mess it up because I'll know. So you have to go down here, click DWG. We're going to change the DWG to the template file. This pops up. So we're going to click the ACAD.DWT file and click open. Now you are in the ACAD drawing template and if you mess stuff up here you're gonna mess it up for good so you really don't want to do that so pay close attention first thing you're gonna do is click the home button alright next thing you're gonna do type in UCS icon all one word hit enter right turn it to no origin next thing you're gonna do type in UCS enter X enter 90 enter okay so now you've got this view right here. Now here's something that's not written anywhere that I can find. Type in UCS again. All of these are the options you normally have down here, but there's another option that they don't tell you about, and it's S for save. So hit S and enter. All right, S and enter. Then you're going to use put your cap lock on, and you're going to call this F for front. That's your front view okay so the other views that we use are the standard view so we'll use the top the the front and the right side view so now what we want to do is we want to create a right side plane over here for this UCS icon we're gonna create a plane so uh, on the for the right side so type in UCS and enter 90 oh nope hit Y enter Y enter and then 90 and enter all right that'll be our right side view so then we'll type in again UCS enter and this time we'll hit S again for save. We will hit R, so it's a capital R for right, and enter. All right, so that's our right side view. We should be able to then type in UCS and enter, and then hit, hit it again so it goes back to the world plane right here, and that's what we'll use for our top view. It's easy to find because when you go over here to this little button, you should now have one here that says an F for front and a, an R for right, so I should be able to switch to my front view by doing that switch to the right view and I should be able to do these things quickly alright if you did not follow these instructions you've messed it up alright so now we don't want to do that so next thing we're gonna to do to make your life a little bit easier okay we're going to uh, shift and right click click the O snap settings and the O snap settings you want to have is the endpoint the midpoint the center the intersection and you don't want extension so uncheck that one and do check insertion now there's other ones here you could use and you may use a lot of and we're going to use them we will use quadrant a lot we will probably use tangent and perpendicular a lot we might even use per parallel but you don't use them often enough to have it set as a standard because it will mess things up for you you usually want to pick endpoints and midpoints um, and intersections where things cross over. Insertion points only work with like with blocks and those kinds of things and the center of your circle is always the most important part of your circle when you're making machine parts so that's what you want there. Anything else if we ever use a quadrant or a tangent it'll be because of some other uh, reason um, that we need to do that okay so use that so click OK for that. Okay now we're back here in the drawing area you want to right click with that click right click in that area and come down here and click on options when you click options we're gonna go ahead and change it right to display A couple things you want to do is this right here your arc and circle smoothness we want them to be as smooth as they can possibly be and our graphics cards can handle it so we're going to change that to 20,000 alright we used to do all this stuff we're changing crosshair sizes we don't need to worry about that too much um, anymore so we'll leave that one right as it is okay um, we're not gonna mess with anything else on this page right here but we will go to open and save we're gonna change this to five minutes right here file safety precautions and auto save every five minutes but you have to save it first for it to even work alright so we'll click apply there um, and I don't think we're gonna mess oh let's do this go ahead with plot and publish and you want to change this right here go ahead and change that to DWG to PDF and that'll be exactly what you want every single time you try to do it it's gonna to go to the right thing okay the rest of that stuff we don't need to worry about you want to save this as 2013 versions even though we're using 17 that way you can go back and use your older versions of that sort of thing okay so go ahead click apply 
and OK. Now here's where it gets tricky. All right, this you have to listen to this. So we're going to click Save. So we're saving that file. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here. We're going to close this. So it's back to this file here. All right, we're going to click Open again. You have to do this. Change the DWT file. We're going to change that back to DWG. And we are going to then probably go back to a drawing that we've already created. So it should be in your documents. Click something you've already created. Click Open. And then just go ahead and close it right back up. So now what happens is when you click Open, it's going to automatically try to find your DWG files, which is exactly what you want. You don't want to open up a DWT file again. So you got to do that last step right there. Okay? That should save you a bunch of headaches and make things easier for you in the beginning of every other drawing we do from here on out.